Hey folks, thank you for tuning in for another video. Today I've got another package, another new knife. And as you can see from the description, this is the Kershaw Blur. And this is the uh, purple spiderweb sort of design going on. And this comes courtesy of my good buddy, Pat You Know, Patrick, here on YouTube. Wrapped up package nice and safe. One little piece of paper after another. And here it is. Now, a lot of you probably either own a Kershaw blur or you've, uh, you've at least seen one. And I have only had experience with one. When it first came out, I saw it in a knife shop. And I opened and closed it a few times. I thought it was pretty cool. And I always meant to buy one, and I never did. So, without further ado, here it is. And this is de-assisted. So this has a this comes from the factory with a torsion bar, a spring assist function. But it was removed by Patrick, and that's fine because I'm not a big fan of those uh, spring assisted functions. It does have a detent, so the blade does stay in the handle even without that spring assisted function. Flicks open nice and quick. It's got a recurve blade. I'm not the biggest fan of recurves, although I do really like my Benchmade 710, which is a very popular recurve blade. But I really like this purple handle. That awesome purple sort of raised spiderweb pattern. I think that looks really neat. And uh, I don't usually like black blades, but I think it actually works on this one, the contrast that it's got going on. And I think this comes, I think originally this comes tip down, and it looks like, at least I think it does, it might come tip up, but he switched it to tip up, if indeed it does come from the factory tip down, and that's my preference. So that's already set up and ready to go, drop that right into my pocket. Again, that does flip open really fast. This is a liner lock, as you can see there. And blade looks to be in great shape, Patrick. You took really good care of it, as I will continue to do. Nice lock up on there. Let's see, no play front to back, none side to side. Great lock up there. Feels very secure, really comfortable. Um, the pattern on here and the anodized aluminum is a little slick, but it still has pretty good traction. It feels really comfy. And I can get all four fingers on there with no problem. I do like the back of the knife. There's a little bit of jimping there, but nothing that really gets in the way of where my thumb wants to rest. So I go to clasp this in my hand. My thumb wants to sit right at that little bump there, and that feels just fine. So pretty cool. That is CPM 154, which is one of my favorite steels, so that's pretty cool. I didn't even really think about what steel it was. I wasn't even, wasn't really even paying attention to that when I decided to go after this knife. So I actually had found Patrick on an online forum and he was selling some of his knives. You, if you've caught some of his videos or his most recent video, he's telling all about how he's selling off some of his knives to buy some higher end stuff. And uh, of course, he was selling this at a great price and I thought I'd sneak in and get a good deal and try this out for myself and maybe help him out in his quest to uh, pick up a little extra scratch so that he could choose himself a new fancy knife. And we did talk about that a little bit. He's probably going to have some exciting news coming pretty soon as far as what knife that is. And this is not a review, of course. Uh, if, I, if this gets carried enough, I will, as always, come back with a review. But I will show a quick comparison since I happen to have my paramilitary two. Put those two side by side. Those are really similar in overall length. Let me zoom in a little bit. And you can see those are real close. I think the paramilitary two is probably a, a touch longer but man, only by maybe maybe an eighth of an inch, not too much more. Very similar. Even the width of the blade on these is pretty similar. Let's take a quick look at the thickness between those two. Pretty darn close. If not exactly, I'm probably not turning that perfectly towards the camera. How's that? Pretty close. Kershaw might be a touch thinner. So, really cool, really comfortable. I love the color. As uh, some of you know, if you've watched some of my other videos, I, like Patrick, am a big fan of the brightly colored handles. This one's not excessively bright. It's almost sort of a plum, sort of a plum purple there. But uh, I think it looks excellent. I think it's got just the right amount of pop to it, a little bit of flair when you stow that in your pocket. I know some guys want to hide their knife in their pocket, but I don't mind mine showing. I've never had any problems, and I kind of like them 
a little bit colorable, colorful, a little bit flashy, uh, you know, not so much tactical. And we all have so many black handled knives, it's nice to get something with some color. So Patrick, I don't know why you decided to let this beauty go, but I am more than happy to add this to my heap of knives and carry this around and get some use out of it. Beautiful knife from a great guy. Just a quick little uh, video to kind of brag and show off my new purchase. And uh, like always, again, if I get th this knife and carry it around long enough, I will, of course, come back with a review and give you some full details on this. Otherwise, thanks for coming along for the ride, and I will talk to you all soon. Hey, I just found one other thing in that package. The torsion bar. So I can re-assist this speed assist knife, should I so choose. I probably won't. I might just for fun, just to see how it flicks out. But uh, no, I think I'll just leave it the way it is. Totally cool. Thanks again, Patrick. Bye.